you know, if they ate beef. You can even think that Jesus considered it beneath his dignity to go to the home of one of the poor or just average families of Jericho. I'm going to go to the best. You know, after all, you know, you know how people act when they think they're all that. I mean, Jesus was God's son. You know, you know, he, he's all that, right? And you may think these things, but you'd be wrong on all accounts. Jesus did not consider himself to be all that, even though he has exclusive rights in the cosmos to say that he is. Yes. 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 See? People who say all that are proving that they are not when they say it. Because if you were all that, you'd be like Jesus is, humble. Amen? Amen. Every wealthy person I've ever met, and I've met a few over the years, who had old money. I don't mean new wealth. I mean old money. A comfortable and casual and, and, and just, you know, just, just relaxed in it. They know they're wealthy. They know they have status. And they don't have to go around blowing a horn. Guess what? I'm rich. Hey, I'm rich. See what I'm down? I'm rich. When you know who you are, Hallelujah. then you rest in that knowledge and you simply go about being yourself. Amen. Jesus was not all that. He was humble and gentle as a lamb. Even when his, his, his life was at stake, he didn't even speak up to defend himself. Amen? Yes. Nor was Jesus concerned about the quality or the quantity of the food that he was going to receive at Zacchaeus' table. Jesus probably was hungry, but he wasn't caring about what he was going to eat. That's right. See? That's right. He already told his disciples, whatever they put in front of you, eat it. That's right. So, you know, he, he didn't care about that. If you are going to understand why Jesus chose Zacchaeus of all people in Jericho to die with that day, then you must remember what Jesus' mission was. What was his mission? Point number three, to seek and to save that which is lost. Luke 19, verses 8 through 10, Then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor, and if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I restore fourfold, yes. four times over. Yes. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, Amen. Amen. because he also is a son of Abraham. Hallelujah. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Amen. That's his mission. Yeah. Now, it's amazing to me that Zacchaeus, earlier that morning, was a money-grubbing, grasping, greedy publican. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now he's giving away half of his wealth. And on top of that, he's going to give four times over to anyone that he's cheated out of any money. By the time he gets finished, he won't have very much money left. Mm -hmm. It'll take most of his money to do that. Amen? Amen? So what happened? Jesus came to have dinner with Zacchaeus because of his, Jesus, mission. He was sent by his father to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Why? To seek and to save that which was lost. Jesus knew that Zacchaeus was lost. So he came to find him. Amen. Amen. What must have been going through Zacchaeus' mind as he walked ahead of Jesus, showing him the way to his house? I want you to get into his little body again. Get in his head. A thousand thoughts rushed through his mind at once. Probably felt like a little boy on Christmas morning, although not a Jew would think that, but you know what I'm saying. He was excited. I say that by example. He was overwhelmed with joy at the thought that Jesus had chosen him, little Zacchaeus, yes, yes. to come and dine with. Yeah. Yes, all you tall guys. Yeah. Well, let me see him. Yeah. I'm going to have dinner with him. I'll see him all I want. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yet this first rush of happiness quickly faded as the Holy Spirit began to prick at his conscience. Hallelujah. Prick, 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 prick. Reminding him the mean, greedy, do dirty, wrong stuff. All that stuff he's done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, when you get near Jesus, you can't help it. Yes. Yes. He, he, he's so awesome that 
you begin to realize how lowly you are when you yeah. get around him. Yeah. Not in a mean way. He's so loving with it. But, but you just start to examine self when you get near that kind of perfection. Amen. Yes, no man, and I say no man again, can look into the eyes of Jesus Christ and remain the same. Yes, sir. Jesus said that a man's eyes are mirror into his soul. So when a person looks into Jesus' eyes, he's looking into the depths of the holiest soul the most beautiful soul, the most loving soul that has ever been or ever will be. Amen. When Zacchaeus looked into Jesus' eyes, he melted. Amen. All of the hard greediness that had completely hardened his heart over many years of hard greediness disappeared. Amen. The ruthless disregard and arrogance that had led him to be selected by the Romans as the chief publican mm. disappeared. Amen. Romans weren't stupid. They were wise overlords. They wanted maximum money to come to them. So they chose the greediest, graspingest, underhanded, most dirty-minded, greedy person that they could find to make chief over the greedy people. And that's why he had the job. Not because he was a nice guy, but because he was a greedy, mean guy with no mercy, who took nothing for an answer, and no situation was too bad, and no family in too bad a shape for him to drag out every last drop of the taxes. Ma, 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 ma. That's why he was the chief of the tax collectors. Amen? amen. And amen. And there were no laws to protect the people from his greediness. But in a few instances of looking in the master's eyes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. all of that Hallelujah. melted away. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. The ruthless disregard, I repeat. And the arrogance that had led him to rinse the last few mites from desperately poor widows' hands on countless occasions disappeared like a light morning mist before the bright, loving radiance that shone forth from Jesus' eyes. Amen. Jesus looked at him, and he just loved him. Amen. And that's all that it took. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Nobody looked at Zacchaeus and loved him. Yes, sir. Not even his own family. He didn't know what to do with love. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. It melted him yes. to putty in Jesus' hand. Hallelujah. 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 Suddenly, his heart was changed, and he wanted to change. He, he wanted to put Jesus' teachings to work in his own life. So he leaped up and stood on his little feet. And he said, look, Lord, I'm going to give half of my goods to the poor. And if I've stolen anything by false accusation, I'm going to give four times back what I took. Hallelujah. 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 Zacchaeus, the greedy, grasping, hard-hearted chief publican, is giving half of his wealth to the poor and restoring four times over any money he cheated anyone out of. When Jesus approached the sycamore tree, Zacchaeus loved money more than anything or anyone. After he spent just a few moments looking into the eyes of Jesus, after he had experienced the redeeming work of the Holy Spirit's love, he realized suddenly that he loved people far more than his money. And he loved Jesus most of all. And what changed him, I repeat, just the love radiating out of Jesus. The acceptance. Yes, sir. I know every dirty thing you've done. I believe when Jesus looked at him, he didn't say anything about how horrible he had been. His, his gaze said it all. Hallelujah. And yet I love you. Uh -uh. I've come looking for you. Lost sheep, I went into this wilderness hey, hey, to find you. Yes. And now that I have, I'm so happy to reclaim you back into the fold. Yes, my friends, Jesus mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. accepted him, and it overwhelmed him. Yes. yes, he lost his dignity that day mm -hmm. when he climbed the sycamore tree. Hallelujah. But he gained far more yes, he than he lost. Yes, he you see, he gained his salvation. Yes. He regained his 
self-respect. He regained the love and appreciation of his neighbors and friends and the community. When he gave all this money to the poor and gave back four times what he took, I guarantee you the Romans kicked him out of his job. But that's all right because the Lord had a better job for him. Hallelujah. Called kingdom building. Yes. Hallelujah. To his dying day, Zacchaeus never forgot and never let anybody else forget Thank that Jesus, Jesus came home to dinner with me and saved my soul. Joy bells. Rang within his soul as Jesus rose to defend him. Zacchaeus, the despised yes. from the crowd, yes. imagine his true heart-stirring joy when he heard Jesus say, Today salvation has come to this house, for you also are son of Abraham. Mm. Son of man has come to seek and to save what? Amen. That which was lost. Let's conclude, saints. What a blessing the word of the Lord is today. Amen. 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 There's a blessing in it for everyone. Yes, Lord. It certainly blessed me. Bless me just now as I preached it and bless me as I prepared it yesterday Amen. evening. Amen. Can you identify in any way with Zacchaeus? Can you connect at a soul level with Zacchaeus' story? Were you too, once lost and self-absorbed, mm. arrogant and full of contempt for others, did the Master save you with just a glance, too? Amen. Have you, too, looked deeply into the eyes of Jesus and experienced a wonderful change in your life? If you have, then you ought to shout hallelujah. 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 If you have not, then it's not too late. You're going to have to make a sacrifice, though, even as Zacchaeus did on that day so long ago. You, too, are going to have to place your pride on the cross of Christ yes. and allow that pride to be put to death. Amen, amen. Jesus cannot save proud people. Say that, Pastor. Low and yes. humble is the way. This is why he says it's so hard to save a wealthy person. Because they're arrogant and they're proud in their wealth. Yes. You must become broken mm. to be saved. Yes, sir. Jesus will Thank break you, you with sir. love Thank you. and rebuild you with that same love. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, you're going to have to crucify your pride Jesus. if you're going to be saved. Jesus. Once you have crucified your pride, mm. then you'll be able to join Zacchaeus. And the swelling ranks of the countless redeemed, let the Lord assist you in your quest for him. Open your heart to him and receive him today, for he is still seeking to save the lost. Amen. He's still seeking for, he's still saving. Won't you lose your dignity in order to find salvation today? Jesus is tenderly calling you home. The songwriter wrote so long ago, Jesus is tenderly calling you home, calling today, calling today. Why from the sunshine of love will you roam farther and farther away, calling today, calling today. Jesus is tenderly calling today. He is tenderly calling today. Come to Jesus Amen. while you still have time. Amen. Bless our God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, saints. Yes, yes. We thank you, Lord.